wiffle ball. And, uh, we play wiffle ball a little bit differently than everybody else does. Isn't that right, Corey? Yeah, we like to call Just it the lazy the man. The lazy man football. 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 Close to what you would find on candy stand, but not quite. <laughs> and go through the rules with you real quick. Really simple. The only way you won't get this is you're a retard. Now, first and foremost, as you can see over there, is our impromptu batter's box with a strike zone. That that yellow thing right there that Bill is kindly pointing to is our strike Thanks, zone. Bill. Thanks. You throw it from, from half court where the pitcher is. Pitcher throws it. Bill missed right there, but uh you uh the ball goes in the net it's a strike. So you can strike out looking by you know just watching it, or you can strike out swing. There's no more contested calls because that's the strike zone right there. If it hits the little yellow outside, it's still a strike. It's like painting the outside corner. Everything else is a ball. We play with ghost runners. Four balls is a new count, meaning it's zero balls, zero strikes again. No walks. No, no walks. walks. Now, here's how the hitting goes. You hit it from, from right there, over there. And if the ball lands between the batter and the pitcher, and it's not fielded cleanly, it's a single. If the ball lands on its first hop between half court and that free throw line, it is a double. If it lands from the free throw line to the edge of the pavement, it's a triple. That was a triple. It goes Yay! off the pavement, it is a home run. Touch them all. Touch, Touch them all. all. That's why Corey's nickname is Touch them all. Touch them all. Trust me, ladies and gentlemen, he has touched them all. Not, not gonna lie. Yeah, not gonna lie. He's amazing. All right. And fielding. Really quite simple. But he gets their ass out in the field like this. If it's a fly ball, meaning up in the air, you can run anywhere to catch it. If it's a ground ball, you can move side to side like this. You gotta field it cleanly on one hop. You bobble it or anything. The guy's safe. Safe. We usually play two outs per side, but if we're playing a lot of people, like four on four, we might go three outs. You just keep going back and forth. The team with the most runs at the end wins. And these things right here, this cone, and that cone over there is our foul area. The ball goes past the cone, not on the inside. It is a foul ball. That equals a strike. You keep going. Um, we play with normal, standard wiffle balls. I'll go get one for you. Standard issue, Corey touch them all, Seaver bought 40 of these off eBay. You see normal, not the stupid ones for the little kids that have holes all in them all over the place, and not the hard training ones that have grooves up here and grooves down here that crack yellow bats like that one. And this bat right here, this is cheating. This is called the junk bat. It actually has some weight to it. And this little red ring right here, that's on the sweet spot. So if you get a hold of it right here, it's going twice as far as this normal yellow run-of-the-mill, commonly known as an Asian bat, would get to. This is the one that comes theater. This is what we play with. This bat right here, this ball right here. You just throw it up and hit. And then bragging rights ensue. Um, that was the rules of wiffle ball. And uh, I don't know, Corey, do you, do you have anything to say? Play ball. Play ball. You heard it, ladies and gentlemen. Play ball. <laughs> this is the first game of our series of I don't know how many games we're going to have in Wiffle Ball. Friend Corey over here is going to get this game started with a little bit of the rules, seeing as this is our turf. Take it, Corey. Yeah, all right, this is our turf, our rules. All right, I'll throw my bat. You guys throw my bat, I'm going to punch you in the face, and uh, we'll just go from there. So, you know. You don't yeah. throw the bat, you don't scrape the bat, you don't crack the bat. Just use the normal, and then when you get out, you place it on the ground. Don't slam it like this! <laughs> don't do that! Just place it. Me and Corey, well, you know, the rest will go as it goes along. You ready to do this? Let's right. do this. Shake hands for me, gentlemen. Sorry in advance. What we gotta do? I call you know what we gotta do, man. And what we gotta do, we gotta take care of it. Okay? You know what I'm saying? Okay. We gotta take care of it. Alright. Right? Who's gonna pitch? Me. It's on me. Shoot for it. Wait, sudden death, two out of three, zero o'clock. Sudden death. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Damn it! 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 Damn it!
me and Corey about to win this thing, and you, America, you're about to see why we're the best players in the nation. Side note, this had nothing to do with wiffle ball, but over there in that ravine, there's actual land gnomes. Little dwarves that live out there. Every time you take a piss, you can hear them complaining. Just so I'd let you know in case you hear any weird noises. Yeah. There's the pitch. Oh, he sure looked bad. Look at that pitch. Right glove. Oh, he sure looked bad. Here we go. Here we go. Got it. One and one. Oh, it was a ball? Yep. Come on! Stand and run! Go foul! Go foul! Ladies and gentlemen, that was a foul ball. It went to the side of the cone. <laughs> no good. Foul ball. One and two, one and two. One and two, one and two. Here we go, here we go. Oh, horrible, horrible. Ugly. Yes. Oh, one and two. There's a drive! No, no. Foul ball. Don't hold back. Hit him with the sinker. <laughs> this is the right trademark out pitch, folks. This is it. The, the sinker. You gotta watch it. It sinks. Ow! That one stayed up. It's a full count. Make it sink, damn it. Sink. <laughs> oh, Got a sign. It's a new count. Batter. Here's the pitch. Oh. Corey. Oh. Work that arm out. Stretch it. Stretch it, damn it. I said stretch him. <laughs> Come on, Corey. Sorry, man. What is this kid doing? <laughs> I can't work with this. Whatever bastard children you feed my dog. No, look, talk to me. What's going on here? I can't, can't handle well, it. Well, you better handle it. You better All get right. the magic and you better All get right. it fast. Or I'm out of a job and you're on your way back to Big Y. <sighs> stocking yogurt and cleaning up crap on the floor. Yeah, yeah, I'll get this thing out. So listen to me. Listen to me. You get this Where's guy out. You got him. Just get him out. He's Don't out. get another He's new out. count. It's a full He's count. Out. Hit out. it with the sinker and we'll do He's this. Out. Hit it with the sinker and we'll do this. <laughs> There's the sinker. Stand and run. Corey turns it up. He got him. <laughs> One out. Thank you. Please. No pause. Two out. Two out. That's what I'm talking about. One out. One. One. No runs. One out. That's what I'm talking about. One out. We got this. We got this. Oh, only one. Supposed to hit the ball. Oh. Little grounder. That's how you do it, folks. Hope he does it better. Best in the business. <laughs> These suckers going down. Oh, oh. What do you got to say about this game, Mr. Angles? I like this game. I like this game. I like this game. I like this There's a drive! Can't build it! And it's a single! One pitch, one hit, one runner on base. Do it, Corey. We got this, man. Corey got the nickname Touch Them All for a reason. You're about to see why. I see a two run jack first pitch right here. <laughs> Thanks, Trump. No Thanks. problem, Code. Anything I can do. Here's the pitch. Here's the doll! Nervous, my ass. Drive! And it rolls in for a single. Two runners on first. Run. Second, nobody out. It wasn't a home run, but we got two runners, no outs. So I mean, you 
ever try to hit my finger, all right? I'm just gonna give this back to him and forget that happened. Yeah. I know what's missing here. Ta -da! Runners on second and third, nobody outs, because I deliver. Okay, I'm called. Yeah, we'll see what we can do. All right. First thing I want you to do. do. <laughs> Good eye. Good, Good eye, dude. That That's what I'm talking about. I wasn't feeling that. Corey with a smaller strike zone than Barry Bonds himself. Nope. Comes outside. Corey did the swing. He knows what he's doing, folks. Corey known for assaulting five cops. I made fun of his wiffle ball swing. That's right. Where are they now? Where are they the now? the hospital. That's what I'm talking about. Actually, three are in the hospital. One's dead. The other one, still missing. There's a drive! A little, little blooper! Little, blo little blooper! Corey's out. It's up to me. The black man being the hero. That's got to be the first, right? Give me a chat. Okay. Sorry. Sorry, all right? Sorry, it's got to be, I'll drive him home. Got here. He bobbled it! Another run scores! Runners on first and third, one out. Not me, him. I drove him two runs. He got one out. It's alright. It's alright. Pressure. Got it. <laughs> pressure out here. That's what you mean, folks. Good thumbs up. Way too much pressure out here. <laughs> the other team cracking under the pressure. I don't blame them. We are simply amazing. Good eye, oh, Cole. Good eye, Cole. <laughs> One and all. Two and all. Wobbling. He's wobbling. The pitch. There's a. I don't know. Sorry, Cole. Once you get your swing, it's over anyway. The pitch. Three and one. This is what we like to call the hitter's count. He can take the next pitch, or he can take this one deep. I'm guessing he's going to take it deep. Here's the pitch. There's a drive! Wasn't a homer, but it was a single. Another run scores. It's three to nothing with runners on first and second, one out. He drove into the This is why we're a team. This is why we're a team. Team. We're good. There's no we're good I in team, but there's me. Me. M and E. But that doesn't apply to us because we are a team. Team. T E A M T. You understand? Whoa! Oh! Hey, 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 the hey, face. Hey, sorry, sorry. Get your damn hands hey, off me. Hey, you did it on purpose. Hey, hey, Come on. It's not worth it. Stop. Come on. Let's get back to him on the scoreboard. On the field, alright? Better than that. Alright? Just guys wait. Damn, I am better than that. I'm better than that. I'm great. I'm great. <laughs> You know what I gotta do? I gotta take the sword out like a samurai. Bust it, bust it. Bust this, what's the next pit? Boom! <laughs> Alright, we next time. We got the next one. Yeah, we're up to two balls. Though. Next at the plate. Happy Gilmore! If you see this one, Corey, you're gonna be so proud of me. Yeah! Whatever I say is golden, right? 
Happy Gilmore was so proud. Adam Sandler, this one's for you. Before you sucked as an actor. Time out, from the game. And that is the end of one inning, folks. Say, Adam Sandler would be proud of me. I struck out just like he would. <laughs> So deceiving, they line up way far back to anticipate the home run. Came in for a double. That's what I'm talking about. I'll tell you. I knew we were good. I didn't know we were this good. Nah, neither did I. Corey's obviously not the brains of this outfit. He's just the power. What was that? That mice and men? Yeah, I'm George. He's the big George. I don't know. Lenny. What? Lenny. He's Lenny. Lenny. The guy that gets shot in the back of the head after he killed some girl. Oh! You're the best player on our team. Pitch to him, not me. I'm not the play yet. That's how good I am. They want to pitch to me when I'm not even up yet. Well, the pitch got away from me there. Oh, it's drive! Back, back, back! Home run! Well I'm going for it. Home well I'm going for it. Home you know? run! I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. Word. Home run. Corey, touch them all, Siebert. <laughs> what he does best, I. Look, two guys on base? A three run blast and it's six to nothing. Try that one again. No good. Two and oh. Sorry, anybody can win the lottery. You know what I mean, broken clock. Still right twice a day. Oh. I'm gonna play that kind of wiffle ball around here. <laughs> went for the head. You saw that? You went for yeah, the head. Were you from Aglon? Huh? I hate brownies. <laughs> Look at that! Try to hit the cameraman! Corey see, but what can I say? Got me started in this whole wiffle ball thing we're enjoying right now. Uh, we're up six to nothing. We've been playing this ever since. I don't know how long he's been playing, but he got me in on it around uh, summer 2005. Uh, I just used to come here and play basketball, but he said he had a lazy man's wiffle ball game, and uh, well, the rest is history. We've modified, of course. We didn't always have that glorious strike zone. We used to debate over calls. Oh, it was destroy. It was perfect. There's another drive, and Corey Siebert, two straight at bats, two straight home runs. I'd love to keep telling you more about him, but he can tell you about it's himself. Easy. Well, easy. I'm up to bat. That's another two on blast. That's eight to nothing. You're seeing this for for real world, not those bulletins I post saying how good he is. You're seeing him right, right here. here. He I'm did right it here. again. He did it again. Unbelievable. Oh. I got, got him. Into got him into the game one day. You know, just looking for people to play, pick up a game. You know, and uh, you know, he said, "Yeah, I'll, I'll give it a try." So. uh... You know, ever since then, we've been playing every once in a while. You know, we braved the element playing, the, as you can see, the rain, but the rain has now stopped. But, um, you know, Jerome, he's a good all-around player. Pitching, he's got his own style there. He likes to call the, uh, you know, I don't know where I was going with that, but he's got the chuckler. Knuckler. The buckler. The buckler. The buckle. Yeah. Looking at the pitch. I'll show you that one next day. Oh, yeah. Two innings from now. 
But, uh, yeah. Was that strike three? Yeah. Strike three. Oh. Yeah, Corey got me into this game. Uh, it's gone a long way. People have heard about it, showing up and playing now. Me and Corey are, you know, like, not the founders, but the, we're the ones who brave it out the most. Everybody else, you know, shows up. I had a couple of lawyer supporters. Pat Hermans, Josh Gagnon, a few others. But Corey is, seems to be out of it right now and trying to go for it all again. Can't blame him. He just went yard and passed two at-bats. So, uh, yeah. This is what we do now. It's either, oh, damn it. There's a single. Love to tell you more about him, but I gotta go up and hit. Unbelievable. So, yeah, we got Jerome again. You know, doing what he does best. What's that, Corey? But, tell, uh, tell him I do best. You know, I drive him home. He likes, he drives him home, you know, but he, he's a good, uh... I'm the designated driver, designated so to speak. Designated driver. But he, he's a good, you know... The fans like him. Fans, you know, fans get riled up. They see Jerome. They want Jerome. They want Jerome. They want... Everybody does. You know? I can't blame him. I'm amazing. But, you know, he's just... You know, I knew that from birth. You know? <laughs> think that's funny? You think that's funny? I don't think... I didn't see any humor in that I at think, all. I think that guy over there thought it was funny, well, yeah, though. Yeah, I think he what was going on. Too. No more. Maybe we should go have a little talk with him. You know? Let's just go have a little talk. Yeah, just a little talk. Let's go have a little talk right now. We're having a little talk. Oh, right, right. I like to throw people's faces on us. You like to do, huh? We'll play that, that shit. Yeah, that was outside. Look, guys. This is a friendly game of wiffle ball. I don't like to play a little cutthroat wherever you come from, the other side of the tracks. But on this this turf right here, we don't throw at each other's faces. We don't throw at the face of the camera. We don't throw it at the ground. We don't throw it at the sky. We don't throw it at that telephone pole. We don't throw it at the traffic cone thing over there. We don't throw it at my wrist. You throw it at that thing over there. You throw it at the strike zone. <laughs> If you're gonna be a shutout, it's not gonna be pretty. Just, just go with it. All right. We got a deal. We got a deal. All right, let's do this. All right. No, it's not way near his face. <laughs> uh oh. I'm gonna see the table fight up with you, sit. <laughs> Well, I said I'll throw it back, Strom! <laughs> Bullshit! Can't deal with this kid. The bat set him back, what, like 49 cents? Oh, wait, that's a lifetime pay for this kid. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I said it. Oh, because you're white, huh? Look at that. See that? Oh, I'm white, too. <laughs> By the way, Corey's nickname is Touch Em All because he has a lot of home runs. My nickname is Pine Tar. Stuff you use on the bat, it's the, the black stuff like this. I'm called Pine Tar because Dude, I stick with it. In the camera. Whether it. You shut your damn mouth, <laughs> all right? I'm important. I matter. They told me so. I'm Pine Tar because I stick with it. On the mound, in the field, up at bat. I'm reliable. That's why they put me on bats. Sammy Hose Sosa hits home runs with. Hulk Hogan. <laughs> Here. You got one out? I got one out. I want a quick pitcher's tip <laughs> to throw the special knuckleball. Hold the ball like this. Like this. And then when you That's throw it, news. flick your fingers forward. The ball has almost no yep. rotation. That's a quick tip from the pros. I'm going to take these two people out right now. Shut up. There is a drive. Wasn't a home run, wasn't fielded. It's a triple. See that, you see that, kids? He's smoke. He's smoke. You know what that does? Every time you smoke, it takes five minutes off your life. Five. I can't even count that high. That's how many minutes it takes off your life. Run, let's go. Oh, not bad. I'm Jerome Pine Tar Yanford. They call me Pine Tar because I stick with it. I always stick with it. You don't. I do. I have 
never ever been in a cockpit, nor do I plan on being in one anytime soon. I say Uma Thurman, give me my five dollars back and get the hell out of my house. My own aid is better than Gatorade. My own aid is better than Powerade. And uh, yeah, my own aid. You all know who my daddy is? I don't know who my daddy is. My daddy could have been anybody on the East Coast. But I think he goes by 9678135. That's not his nickname, that's his prison number. Slightly chilly, no wind, and a lot of white people for me to pwn, because me and Corey are the ultimate team. Waldo is um, he's in Afghanistan chilling with bin Laden. I hate all ducks of any shape or form. Ducks quacks don't echo, I don't know why. Scientists don't know why. If I could feed a duck something, it'd be cyanide so he could die. I, I don't know, man. I just. I ask myself that question all the time, man. I don't know what the hell I did wrong either. I think it had something to do with me being black and being born in America. Oh, hey, what's up? I'm Corey. Corey's touching all Seabird. I go deep, real deep. Nah, man, I haven't. Sure wish I was, though, one time. About 1993. Won tickets to the air show. Guy says, you know what? I'm gonna do one more little little twirl and I'll come pick you up. Look at that little ride in the cockpit. That's the last we ever saw of him. He didn't make it. I would have to either ask if I could just, you know, take pictures, you know, nothing big, just take some pictures. Or just hell, you know, jump right in, you know? It's not gay unless your balls touch. Sir Michael Tyson. After one fight. I wasn't sure with who, but you know, he kicked ass, he did. And uh, don't know where he was going, but he just, you know, too many punches to the head, and at one point he was just like, I don't know, man, how come you to come out? And those words have stuck with me. Stuck with me for since that day. My own aid. My daddy. He's a good man. Works in the town so all these people can be safe at home, you know? No crazy people driving around, running stop signs. Street lights, he keeps us safe. You know, so if it wasn't for that man, who knows where we'd be today. Bringing home the win. It's the way to do it. It's the only way to do it. Waldo? <laughs> you mean the character? My neighbor? Oh, I don't know, man. Those things. <laughs> Fed him one time and bad stuff went down. Maybe we'll talk, discuss that in another interview, but right now is not the time. Oh, gotta wrap it up here. I think I gotta run some laps here. You know, that's my time, folks. But uh, hey, you know, until next time, I'll see you then. Yeah, a lot of people out there uh, have a little debate over what bats to use. Some people like to use this big red cheap bat, which we only use for little novelty contests like home run derby. This isn't the bat to use, is it, guys? No. Nope. It's not. It's one. Get that out of here. You know, before me and Corey were the ultimate team, we were the ultimate adversaries. One time I got a hold of one on my birthday, and uh, the bat was black. And as you can see, Corey didn't take to that very well. And, uh, well, you can just see it for yourself. Needless to say, this isn't the bat you use anyway, is it, guys? Nope. No, it's not. A little upgrade novelty bat. This is the junk bat with a very nice sweet spot right here. It's got some weight to it. Great for going yard, not good for real games. This is not the bat you use to play a real wiffle ball game. Is it, guys? Uh-huh. Hell no. We all know there's only one bat you use when you play a real serious game of wiffle ball. And that's the bat you get the ball with in the first place. I like to call it old yellow. Yep, that's what I'm talking this about. This is the bat you use. If you can't go yard with this, you don't deserve to go yard with anything else. Other people say, oh, we tried using these yellow bats and they suck. No, you suck. Old yellow, it's the way to go, isn't it, guys? It's the way to do it. You know it. And this is the bat you use when you play a real game of wiffle ball. Nicely done.
Welcome, game number two. This is a four on four contest. And we're still gonna win. You shut the hell up! I want you to put the camera on this kid right here. Oh, gummy bears. That's Eric, the loser, right there. Get it in on him. He is going to cost his team the game. He stole my gummy bears. I'm supposed to be stealing his stuff because I'm black. Here, ladies and gentlemen, it's three outs, no runs, and now it's time for you to see. Nah, dude, fuck out of here! Fuck out of here! Oh, holy drama! Now, what you saw right there was a sorry excuse for human beings, and we're about to show you why. Beat you down like Rodney King, bitch. <laughs> Rodney King, who got a huge settlement after being beat down by four LA cops. I'll take it. I'll take it. Would you take it? I would. Hulk Hogan. Matt Stanton, who was part of that 10-0 embarrassing loss in game one, now leading off for us here in game number two. First pitch, a hit, a double. That's how you get that shit done. There it is! You record that. Get up on the ball. That's what a strike looks like. Kind of looks Shut the like, hell a, up. like a scrotum. That's what it looks. That's right. <laughs> Just like a scrotum. <laughs> Sorry, Corey. Sorry. Deep. Damn, it's dry. Oh, Damn it. He didn't get all of it. He got some of it. Didn't get all of it. Yeah. But let's get an interview with Corey after he. Oh, jeez. Look, Corey. I know it didn't go quite as well as you expected, but you know. You came with them all, and uh, you know, that's how it goes. But what do you think you can improve on it your next attempt? Just take my time, you know, work the count a little more than what I have been, and you know, hopefully just take it, take it, take it slow, you know, and take just, it it's not much you can do, you know. That's spoken like a, like a true champion right there, folks. That's why me and Corey, right here, are the ultimate team. Josh. Oh, As I get hit by the ball. Yep. Hey, hey off pitch. We are. No! I'm a scat man! I predict a home run coming. There's no words I can describe the feelings I have right now. I get that, get that the camera. Mom, that was for you, Mom, that was for you. First pitch, let it lose I'm covered for you. <laughs> My message to you. As a matter of fact, I don't let nothing hold you back. If the scat man can't do it, so can you. Everybody's saying that the scat man stutters, but does and never stutter when he sings. But what you don't know, I'm gonna tell you right now that the stutter and the scat is the same thing. Yo, I'm the scat man. Where's the scat man? I'm the scat man. Why should we be using an And it's a drive! The state of the condition insults my intuition and it only makes me crazy and hard like you. Everybody stutters one way or the other, so check out my message to you. As a matter of fact, don't let nothing hold you back. If the scat man can do it, brother, so can you. I'm the scat man. Right here. This is with us now. He's with us now. It's over. Man, right there, Josh. It's the lone left in this game. Time to see how the South Park plays. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Y
Higher, higher. There you go. See it, see it, see it. And then here comes Josh trying to redeem himself after that terrific strikeout first time. Way up, way up! Oh, God, he struck out, he fouled out. Everybody stutters one way or the other, so check out my message to you. As a matter of fact, I don't let nothing hold you back. If the scat man can do it, so can you. I hear you all ask about the meaning of scat while I'm the professor and all I can tell you. It's why you still sleep and the saints are still weak. Right. I'm the stage called dead. I haven't yet had the chance to be born. Sandwiches. Sandwiches. I'm the scat man. Sandwiches. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Look at that stance. Look at that stance. That's, oh, my God. The third strikeout of the night. God damn. Josh. Big three and over. Josh. It was your third strikeout in a row, and I know you're, I know you're feeling down. But we're up seven to zero. Oh. Can't you say anything to your fans who have problems striking out? Like Just one quick word to the fans. To the fans. Where's the scat? He's a pitcher. You heard him. We have DHs. He's a pitcher. Floater. That's him. Strikeouts. That's him. He has the most strikeouts of anybody. Too bad it's not when he's on the mound. But anyway. Yonder, 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 yonder